way to Bentayan Island. This is Hagnaya port right there. Hopefully the wind noise is not too bad. Uh, but we got a fisherman here. One of the crew is fishing with a line. He threw some bread or something. Sorry about my finger. The camera's in the corner of the phone and that's where you hold the phone is by the edge. And so sometimes you stick your finger in front of the lens, but yeah. I don't know if he's gonna catch a fish or not, but you see he's got a little piece of something there. He's getting something out of the bag there, putting it on there. If he'd get a little uh, barbecue chicken scraps, uh, they'll eat that, because when we get barbecue chicken uh, here at the port, uh, I, you know, when I get left, nothing left but the bones, I'll uh, kind of break them into small chunks and throw them over the side, and you'll see like, bunches of fish just come up and grab them. One time I saw some really big fish uh, come, come up and uh, like uh, about a foot and a half long or more and they just ran up and just whoop, and dove back down and all the little fish were just kind of stunned I guess. <laughs> Lucky that it wasn't them. Yeah, see, there he is. I don't know, he keeps putting stuff on there but I don't see him ever bring a fish up so I don't know what he... Uh, Thinks he's gonna catch there, but I was hoping he'd catch something just so we'd have it on video for for you guys. But again, you know, we're our ferries are side side by side, and he's over. Uh oh, I think he got a bite. Give me a little bit here. His bait might be gone if if he got a bite. Just. He's like mashing something on there like it's soft, you know, like in the U.S. if we fish for carp, we'll use, you know, like, you know, like dough bait. It's just um, like oatmeal uh, mashed up and wet uh, oatmeal in a ball. We'll use that. Uh-oh, 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 look out. Looks like he, he was pulling it like he's got one. Does he have one? He's pulling it up. He's fighting it. There it is, there it is, there it is. Got it. Got that sucker. Look at that. He nailed it. Alrighty. Score. <laughs> Score one for that guy. He's getting it off of the uh, hook there. It's not a bad little fish. You know, it's a, it's a, if you're in the U.S. like a little sun perch, it's like a big sun perch. Uh, maybe even a little bit bigger than a, you know, big sun perch. So yeah. <laughs> he got one. I, I wish I, uh, you know, could ask him what he's using for bait, but he just kind of mashes it on the hook, and then, uh, you, you know, and he's had to replace the bait several times, so, you know, the fish are, you know, stealing his bait, but, you know, he caught one then. Let's see if he can snatch another one out of the depths, the depths of Hagnaya Port. I don't know how deep it is here. I'm guessing eight feet, ten feet, something like that. I mean, when he pulled up the line, he seemed to really pull up quite a bit of line. I mean, he's pulling up about a foot and a half with each uh, arm. Sorry, the video's shaking so much, but uh, yeah, see, something got his bait in. So we'll see. There he goes. I think he's got a weight on there. And if you can really see, and this is as far as I can zoom. My, my camera won't zoom any more than this, so we're not able to really get in and see what, what he's putting on the, the hook. I don't even know if he, well, I guess he has a hook. He has to have a hook. Uh, but uh, we'll see. I guess they're hitting it regularly. He's just, uh, you know, not uh, whoa, trying to get one. There he is. There he goes again. I think he may got, nope, they stole his bait. Bomber. So, anyway, we are uh, always baiting up again. I'll uh, let you guys see what else is going on here in the harbor. The fast craft was supposed to leave uh, at about 3 o'clock or something, and it was canceled. So, we had to get on the, the slow craft or the ferry, like island island shuttle or something like that what do they call it 
Super Island. There's a Super Island Express. Now that boat there, supposedly, my wife said that that one left the port when the fast craft left the port in um, Santa Fe and got here at the same time that the, that our ferry got here. So that may be as fast as a fast craft, but you see there's no uh, cargo, there's no uh, place to put buses and trucks and things like that. It's just a people carrier and, and it's got a, you know, like a V-hole in, in the front. So uh, maybe a little bit uh, faster, but we'll get back to see if this guy is going to get any more fish. There's a there's a fish uh, swimming right on the surface there. Um, again, I got my finger there. You can see it. Uh, you, you know the fin makes like a, a V. There he is, right up there. See it? See it right there? There's a fish hitting the top. That's uh, oh uh oh got another one. Got another one. Look at that. Yeehaw! Bingo! 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 Yeah, he's uh getting the hook out now. I don't know how many he's got, but uh, so far, just while I've been here, he's got two. And again, he's, it's like he's dipping something, almost like a cotton ball or something. I don't know, He because he picked it up and then he put it back in as if he's, you know, letting it soak up, you know, some flavor of some kind. And, uh, I think he's getting the fish kind of worked up there, getting in like a feeding frenzy. And, uh, so he may start uh, getting quite a few if yeah, they were hitting the top of the water splashing and running with their uh, fins making a little V something stole his bait that time so like I said we'll stick around here until the boat leaves and you see how many fish he catches in you know 15-20 minutes the video is not going to be that, that long. I'm just going to show the highlights of him catching fish. So, Let's see if he's got another one. You know, they like to hide under these boats. You know, any structure, fish like to be under. Uh, seaweed, uh, anything that's floating. Uh, stole his bait again. Anything floating on the surface, or uh, they call it like fish attraction devices. The obviously the ferry is a giant fish attraction device. If you're uh, parked in in the port here, so I'll go get under your boat. I've never really seen the kind of fish that he's catching um, visibly. Uh, you, you know, when I throw in my chicken bones and stuff, so uh, I've just seen like these little, like a needle nose fish. Uh, they're small, long as your hand, and uh, their nose is like a long, like a needle nose type of thing. And I mean, there's nothing there to eat. I'm just feeding the fish, you know. And then uh, once the bones float to the bottom, then the crabs come and get them. So I'm just, you know feeding the fish and crabs. Let's see if he gets a, a third one while we're waiting here. I hate to look away because that may be the moment, you know, he catches another one. He's pulling something but it don't look like a fish. When it's when it steals his bait, he, he waves his hand differently. Here comes a ferry coming in from Bentayan Island. You see the wave there, and then over on the side, those are uh, fish farms where they raise fish. We'll go back over here and see what uh, they, what they're doing. Yeah. 
doesn't look like the fish. Yeah, stole his bait again, so. Anyway, I think he's going to get ready to cast off this pretty soon, so. I guess I'll uh, end the fairy fishing video. And we'll be back with more for My Paradise on the Cayenne Island. Bye for now. Fisherman's got to untie us from his boat. See, our boat here is tied to his ferry there, so he's got to get that rope off somehow. Oops, again, my finger gets in the way. I hate these cameras that aren't in the center uh, at the top. He's back to uh, doing that, but I don't know how, how he's going to get that rope off. Through there. Working it down here. Okay, he's getting closer. Maybe he's gonna flip it. Let's see. There he goes. He flipped it. Flipped it and it came off. So the guy's still fishing here, but we're we're pulling out now. So you can see we're starting to move back a little bit, swinging sideways some. Keep an eye on this guy, he may surprise us with one more fish before before we get out of the port. You better watch his arms because this boat's gonna hit that, that boat and pinch him. Comes another very old over here. He's pulling in. That's the one I showed you coming in here. So they're heading in. Those are all uh, passengers. Motorcycles. Passengers. Coming in pretty hot, if you ask me. I don't know. I'm coming in. I'm not used to ferries pulling in that fast. But he's coming in pretty hot there. There he goes, getting the cement, sliding up the ramp. They will uh, th throw all the ropes out. These guys will jump on. There's a big crowd there. Well, we got a lot of cars and stuff, so people uh, apparently were visiting Bentayan Island in the cars in the droves. So, we'll start unloading soon. Looks like a foreigner right there. We're, uh, we're backing up now. There's our fisherman again he better get his arms in there because that pilot ain't paying a bit of attention to him he'll pinch him right now so I guess we'll say the goodbye to Mr. Fisher Mr. Ferry Fisherman and we'll see him next time so there we go everybody's uh, disembarking over there and we're heading out and we'll be back with more from my paradise on Bentayan Island. We're heading that way. Here comes, uh, well, nobody. Nobody's coming, but we're heading out between here and here. This is the channel. They got buoys marking it at night and stuff with little green and red lights. So we will be back with more from my paradise on Bentayan Island. Bye for now.